Good morning, welcome to my full day of eating. It is about 7.15. I woke up a little while ago and fed Miley and made my coffee. If you guys watched our last full day of eating, which is kind of like a couple's full day of eating, it's very similar. I just used two tablespoons of creamer in my coffee. I love my Nespresso. Um, but I thought I would take you through a full day of eating. Right now, I'm not necessarily tracking macros every single day. I'll make sure to include the macros on everything I eat for today and we'll see what my total is at just intuitively eating. So I won't be tracking like throughout the day trying to hit a goal. We'll just see what I end up as. Um, but I'll go into that a little bit later how I kind of transitioned into not tracking every day because I know that's I, I think it should be a goal for everyone to end up there someday. Um, but yeah, I thought that might be helpful for you guys. So we'll just um, start our day strong with coffee and I'll see you in a little bit. All right, I am making breakfast for everyone. We have guests today, so I'm making breakfast sandwiches for everyone, egg whites, and I'm gonna put cheese on it. I have um, English muffins in the toaster, but I'm starving. It's like 9.30 and I haven't really eaten yet, um, so I'm gonna have this uh, vegan protein bar. It is a, it's from Good Snacks, which I just get on Amazon. And then I'm gonna also have my greens. These are, uh, I think they'll be released by this video. Uh, by this video when this video comes out i don't know um but they just pe science just launched these and this is my second day of using them they didn't upset my stomach or anything yesterday they're really easy to drink um lots of research went into this so i'm like super excited to use these every day but i'm just gonna mix this with a little bit of water we use discount code aubrey or brad if you want to try these but i'll just i'll chug it for you right now and prove it to you that they're pretty good. Ready? Here we go. It's honestly just like sweet water. I don't really know how to explain it. It's not gritty, which I really like, so that's it. Voila, I'm probably gonna put spinach on mine. Uh, Brad likes to put mayo on his, like light mayo, and I like light mayo on mine too, but pretty simple breakfast. We are going to the beach. It's like one o'clock. I haven't eaten since the last time you saw me. Liar. I haven't. Anyway, Derek had um, these candies out, these sour streamers, and they're my favorite, so I picked a green apple one. I'm gonna eat this right now. And then I'm packing this with us for the beach, but I'll probably just eat when I get home because my stomach kind of isn't feeling that well. So yeah, this is me being honest. See you later. If you can hear like three dogs walking around, um, that is life right now with um, our friends that are over. They have two boxers, so. Anyway, uh, we're back from the beach, as you can see, uh, and it's 5.45. So last time I talked to you guys, it was 1.15. I hadn't really eaten a lot, and I still haven't really eaten a lot. I ate like two more um, of those sour streamer candies at the beach, and I had my bag of chips. So I don't really know where that puts me at. I'll just put it like right up here for you guys for my total right now. But we're gonna make a big dinner. We're making salmon, rice, um, vegetables we're probably gonna have some like chips and pico maybe some cornbread maybe some brownies anyway so I feel like this is kind of taking or, or like turning into an untracked day which is fine I mean I would say that the majority of my days are untracked right now but I do try to make sure I get enough protein in for sure that's always the goal 
Um, but just to give you kind of like background on myself, if you don't know this, I have been working out for 12 years. Uh, seven of those years were CrossFit and I did not like track my food. I didn't know, I like tried everything really to get like my goal physique and never got there. Then I met Brad, started bodybuilding, and I've been doing that for the past like four and a half, five years, and I have been tracking pretty much the entire time because I learned from him. So I really got to my physique, like my goal physique through tracking macros, um, and over the last like three or four years, I've just slowly transitioned out of that. And just suggestion for you guys, if you're looking to do that, I would just start incorporating like more and more untracked days where you are focusing still on protein and wholesome foods that are gonna feed your body. So that's my spiel. We're gonna make dinner. We'll show you a little bit of that and uh, show you the rest of my food for today because I need a, a lot of food to eat. I think it's perfect. I got my rice, broccoli, bought some salmon. I took the skin off the bottom. Um, let's taste it and see if that glaze. It's very good. I like it. It's like a teriyaki glaze. Just kind of made it up. Voila. Derek's patiently waiting for his cookie. <laughs> but I'm gonna do this first. So I made a protein shake, it's one and a half scoops just because I knew I was under today. Um, this is the new chocolate peanut butter vegan flavor from PE Science, code Aubrey, if you want a discount. And I'm gonna have probably just like a little bite of this because I already had a bite, but this is the Yippie Kaye we had in the freezer from Fat and Weird. It's a ginger molasses cookie with cookie butter. No, -uh, you were gonna eat this. You were waiting for that tiny bite. Get out. And Just eat a big it, so chunk. I don't want it anymore. <laughs> okay, I think it's time to end this video. Jarek, would you like to end this video? Oh. Wow, what a five-year-old. All right. Um, comment below if you think Jarek's being really dramatic. Like this video. Share with a friend. Um, subscribe because we would love that and Gabby's like you're worth it you're worth it okay uh, I forgot guys I'm gonna put my like daily totals right up here for you I'll just estimate <laughs>